Alright guys, we're back with the ebook here. We're going to be breaking into the shotgun wide trips formation. And our base play from this is the Z spot. So let me get to that. Uh, Z spot is our L1 Ottawa. No, it is not our L1 Ottawa. It is our triangle Ottawa. There we go. So the triangle Ottawa is Z spot here. So basically what we have here is we have our triangle passing concept to beat every zone in the game. So what you're going to see is against cover four, you're going to hit the flats. Then we're going to go over this. Um, Against um, against cover three, you're going to be able to hit the corner routes. Okay, there's a corner route, and then against cover two, you should be able to hit the spot route. Yep, there it is. So beat every zone of the game, every zone of the game, every single zone, every single zone. Cover sink, cover two, cover three, cover four. Beat every one. Now. Man beating. Uh, that's where it gets a little dicier in this formation. Now, this formation is cer certainly not set up to beat man coverage on, on most of the plays. But let's talk man. So if we want to beat man here, one of the things I like to do out of this wide trips is if you motion your running back to the right here, you see he comes back, and then he gets that speed burst on that route. So essentially you could you could set up a little screen pass to him, okay? And that's actually something we're going to talk about in a minute. But one thing you could do, and like we said, uh, we have the... Whoops, I actually audible to the running formation that we just went down. And I'll use this to show this point. So, like I said, we like to motion, sometimes we'll motion this wide receiver. So when we motion the receiver over, then we check into our triangle audible and hit him with the Z spot. What I like to do is check into my quick pass audible. You see that's this, this flanker screen. Put your running back on a screen or a wheel route. Put your wide receiver on a comeback route and put a slant to the backside because we know how effective slants are going to be this year. Motion your running back. Uh, whoops, I don't think you can motion from the screen though. That's the one be the one issue. But we can still hit him on the screen pass. So you don't want to motion him. You're just going to put him on that swing and snap throw. And now you have a screen to your running back. We went over how effective that is as a complement to our running game. So one thing our opponent will ha what will happen is our opponent will start to become uh, accustomed to us throwing screens out of this. So one thing I like to do is put my running back on a block and release pattern out of this Z spot play. And again, you want to run slant on the back side because that beats man coverage. Motion your running back to the right. So you have to have him on a wheel first. When you motion him to the right, then you're going to hot route him real quick to a block and release. Then you're going to snap. And now you see you have better protection and then you're going to be able to beat man and zone on, on this play. So uh, as far as the, the man read, basically this is a snap read. All we're looking at pre-snap is we're like, okay, so we got press alignment two by two. Are, are uh, too deep coverage. Obviously, you know some people uh, more effectively like me like baseline press to make everything look the same. So it could you know that it could not be too deep. Your pre-snap read is definitely not the only read you're making here. But if you see something like this look, your immediate read at the snap the ball is to look to your receiver on the left to see if they're in man. As we see here, they're in man. You see how effective those slants are against man coverage this year. Okay, that's one of the main focal points of this formation, why we're able to run that uh, this year. Okay, so moving on to the next thing, uh, maybe they're in cover two. Cover two should take away this slant pattern. Uh, as you're going to see, passing it to the right, you see it's going to get picked off. Because it's a single slant, not a double slant. Remember we went over that, how double slants beat cover two. Let me get back to that in just a minute. So, as soon as we see that they are not in main coverage on the left side of the field, we know it's zone, we go back to the right. Okay, they're in cover two, and I just hit my, my, my route. I hit my spot route. So that's how we identify man zone post snap. It's it's a read to to the left side uh, receiver to see if they're in man or zone. If we read man, we throw to the, sl the slant every single time, unless they're using it. If they're using it, this is what we do. So they're using the slant, and they have the man on the right. Well, what they forget is it's a rollout. Corner routes beat man coverage, especially on rollouts this year. Very effective. You see the separation. It's going to happen 100% of the time. They're going to have to put a zone over there. A lot to stop or a lot to think about in this one play. And we have a running back blocking here. So, okay, we're going to run cover two, uh, and they're going to man up on the outside receiver. So this is where they get adjusty, and this is, you know, this is where it starts becoming a chess match. Whoops. Let me get this dude's man manned up. So you see, they got man coverage on the spot route. They're hoping that the yellow will go out. But what they miss up? Oh, we don't have any flat members. 
Oh, there we go. There's six. There's six. Quick six, quick seven. The concepts stay the same in this offense, like I said. So that's how you're running Z-Spot. You're going to beat man and zone. That's the cool part. Now let's get into the advanced stuff. Okay, so the, the, the uh, deep pass audible is the levels concepts, or it's actually called Double China in this. Double China. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to make it a big play possibility. We got our running back on a wheel route in this video, and that's what I normally do. I put the left side receiver in a comeback normally. That's the main setup. Sometimes I alternate based on tendencies. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to motion my running back to the right. You see he's going to come back. I'm going to snap right there. If I see that there is no flat vendor, that's my, I throw that ball every time because it forces them to take. They have to. Part of my offense, one of them, and I've always focused on this, force them to have flat defenders. Force them. Do not let them get uh, be able to zone blitz you. Don't let that happen. Hit those flat routes. Okay? Say they have cover three, so that's going to stop that. And then you're going to work your levels over the middle. See? The double China route coming underneath. It's going to be beat almost every zone of the game. Uh, like I said, it will beat every zone, but you have to make a read. Uh, here we're going to go cover two. Cover two, okay? Uh, we have the double China. We're going to break down here. There's that. Go. Okay, they have flat defenders. And you see that route's even more open against cover two. The stretch. It's a it's a, it's a, a horizontal stretch of the defenders uh, in this. So that's what we're doing. So here, deep pass. Sometimes I redress. Sometimes I drag him uh, just to make it a quicker read so that it doesn't take so long. But you can do that based off what you want. It's the same exact thing. And if they go down, like so there, they suck down. It, that's... You got to make sure that you're reading that. Obviously, you normally will be able to throw that route uh, to him because the drags are so effective against zone. But if you know, if you want to make a big play, and and they do that, so they suck down on the drag. So you read the drag. Drags your first read here after the running back. Okay, they have a flat. I go drag. Okay, they suck down on the drag. Throw that in route. You see that in route gets in behind those yellow zones, uh, and that's what levels is. And essentially, that's what the, this concept is. And then all but while we have our ever so beloved comeback right to the left side of the field. Going to beat every coverage in the game. Unbumpable. Bam. So we have that uh, also to mix in with this play. But the main thing about this play is your working level. It's basically what you're doing. Next play I want to talk about is your play action audible. Play action audible is, is uh, PA double hook, better known in my world as smash. And you see we have the smash concept to the right. All we are going to do is this is block and release time for your running back. This is where he, you know, he's kind of thrust into that role of pass protection. And you're going to split the safeties with the tight end. So you're going to put him on a streak. And then a lot of times you're either going to come back. Uh, your isolated receiver, you can do a lot of things. It's either a slant or a comeback for me almost every time. Against man coverage, what you're going to see here is the corner route will, will beat man. Okay, it's going to beat man. It's been beating man all year. We know that. Against cover three. So cover three. Block the... You could put your running back on an option, too. That's something you could also mix in. Uh, but I like to block him. I like that protection aspect of my offense. Uh, I, I didn't do that enough last year, and it cost me. Now I've been starting to do that more. But anyway, cover three, what you're going to see is they, if they press that, then you have that snap throw the right receiver. And that's your read. That's the only read you have to make on this play. Are they pressing the slot receiver? This is very similar to the slants concept where that was the only read we had to make. So once we figure out that they press that receiver, because in man, he's unbumbled. In man, he's unbumbled. So if they press, it's going to have to be out of a cover three. And it's going to have to be out of roll coverage as well anyway. So once we see that, press, okay, I throw, I throw right there. That's my read every single time. If they do not press him, so that here's cover four. Here's cover four. If they don't press him, then that's when it becomes a little difficult. You're reading the corner out, but it's not always open. If you see that they go with him, then you just check down your your smash. You have to be patient though. Uh, this is one of those plays that you can get in trouble with if you automatic if you make a read uh, and it's automatic for you. Like you don't if you make a pre snap read and then that's all you go with. You don't read the actual route. So here's cover two, and this is actually what this play is designed to do. It's going to beat cover two. Uh, here you're going to see it. No press. Okay, the corner route's going to get out wide. Uh, and then the cool part is, if they're in like a cover two, if their cover two defense um, isn't disciplined, we'll be able to hit this tight end streak right in between there. And 
the the key is it's a it's essentially a level. That's why I said you could put the running back on a option because he's coming down in this play. He'll come down. And he'll sit. Basically, he's just gonna sit right there, and we just take that take that quick seven eight yards if they're gonna give it to you. And a lot of times they will. Uh, here's a cover four, and this is another scenario. And this is again this is what Smash is designed to do is to get them playing cover fours and stuff like that. So now. He is going to be forced to, he, he's made an adjustment. He's going to be able to stop the corner route. But now look, there's no one in the middle of the field to stop the tight end route. So the way this play works off each other in combination with levels, because levels is going to the inside, this is going to the outside, Z spot also works off, because now instead of him going to the flat, he's going to the streaks. There's a ton of stuff to handle in one play, and as always, you know, you can use that route to your uh, dude over here. One thing I want to talk about real quick is using the play action. Now, you can use the play action. This is actually something I've been noticing recently. This is just a quick little addition that you can use maybe once or twice a game. But the uh, run audible down out of this formation is, I, th I believe it's the inside zone again. Uh, yes, it is. You see the inside zone, and we know that's a stable point of my offense. So the inside zone is, is you have that. You always want to mix that in. If you have numbers, and this is, this is how you run this offense. If you have the numbers to run the ball, run the freaking ball. But, say, you want to get cute. Say it's like second and one. Second and one. And you just dotted them up, and you just ran the ball hardcore. And they're, they're, they're an elite player, so they're disguising their defense, and they're setting up pressure and whatnot. Call your play action play. Block your tight end. And streak both outside receivers. And then put uh, R1 here on a drag. And just watch what happens. Look at look at square, look at that separation. Every it's a hundred percent, it's a hundred percent of the time that happens. I, I I picked up on that today in an online rank game, when a dude ran play action on me, and I got rose. This is off coverage. Let's show you gets off coverage, and pass committee, and pass committee off coverage. We pass commit, and we're sending pressure. Okay, play action audible. Like I said, block your tight end so you have protection. Drag your receiver. Look at that. They bite on it. Deep lob. User it. I mean, it's really good. If they're off coverage, I wouldn't do it much. But press, I'm going to do that second and one. Second one, I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to throw that at him. Second one, uh, you know, I'm on the, this side of the 50. If it's second and one, I, I just ran the ball. You better freaking believe that I don't care what coverage or blitz they're in. If they show me press alignment... I'm doing this all day. Sliding to the left, because I have a tight end to the right side, and just roastage. Just absolute posterization. So, you know, you can mix that in. Like I said, you know, that's the that's basically the trips. You got the inside zone read, which is the freaking best run in the game. Look at that. Look at me get wiggly with it one time. Uh, so definitely want to work on your combo moves. One other thing real quick before I get out of here. Um, makeshift screen. So, uh, a situation like this where we have our deep pass. You see we have that. Okay. One thing you can do is you can put uh, your tight end here on a streak. You can put your square receiver on a, uh, a drag. And then you can put your R1 receiver on a smart routed out route. And then you can wheel your running back. This is mesh. Okay. And this is a, a different kind of mesh. So, Snap, and your first read, of course, is the flats. If they get lost in the flats, you're going to take those. Your next read is if they um, basically, after you read that, you're going to go to the streak, the, the, the tight end streak. The only time this tight end streak is going to be open this year, I'll be honest, is too deep uh, or uh, Quarters coverage when they're cover two, cover four, that's what it's going to be. Able to. Cover three, it's probably not going to be. We'll take a look here. A lot of times in cover three, the the safety does a good job this year, as well as a middle linebacker, of getting deep. So it's not always going to work against cover three. We'll show you here, like pass leading it to the right. You see, it's going to get picked off almost every time. But what it is, what it does, it creates space. And this is a concept from last year, drag streak combo. It's real. It's it's really good. Um, 
it's something that Z-Boy presented last year at the beginning of Madden 13. Something that I, you know, I didn't think much about. I just like, yeah, that's levels, man. That's that's high love. And now that I see it, it's like, now that I'm running with it, it's very effective for beating zone coverage. You see, they just come right underneath, and you just hit that. And it's a nice thing that you could throw at them because if they're cover zero blitzing you and they're trying to jump stuff, what this does is it takes the top off the defense. It really will. So you're gonna see here the tight end. Not just not just the, the running back's gonna be wide open on the flat. With the tight end, with a lob, is gonna get um, that animation. A lot of times you can click on and user catch that one on one. Your tight end's normally gonna be six four, six six five. So very easy user catch option. But anyways, guys, that does it for the wide trips. Uh, very simple offensive uh, uh, formation, but it's very effective, especially when you combine it. I, I do want to show this real quick before we get out of here. When you when you come out, you you always come out in the normal. Uh, you always come out in normal out of my offense, and you come out and drag on it every single time. Um, and what we do sometimes, or what I'll do sometimes, is that screen. I'll sometimes motion my wide receiver across formation, and and then throw it. So play action, throw the screen, and now I have an extra block. So that's something that you could mix in. But check this out. So. The transition, again, the easy transition that's part of this offense. Okay, so you basically create wide trips, and then you can snap and, and just take a look and see that's another way you can hit them. And you always want to fake audible when you motion. So I motion over, and if I don't audible, like say I audible, so I want to show them that I can audible from this into wide trips, I'm going to hit square and I'm going to hit cancel, and that's going to reset my play. And now take a look. Now I'm in a nice concept to the right side and I'm just going to streak R1 or not R1 but a triangle motion snap streaks this year are going to be very effective half a step motion back snap and you're going to see just very easy to use or catch that so what we can do off of this is